Hey, it's old RC here, and we're going to be really industrious today. For comparison. And uh, used lifters. And the lifters ain't marked which ones they come off of, so that's an automatic fail on the cam. And Well, I don't know about that. I mean, you know, true budget, but yet, you know, we're buying roller cams and you know this is the true budget i just need this thing to run so i can take it on power to her well, that dumb thing's gonna roll off there i better move that that'll be a disaster waiting to happen you say you don't know where rick's rusty rex is well i'll tell you you take the i-69 bypass loop over on dog lick road head up 13th and hang a right baby and you're there I need to get a bigger workshop. This is ridiculous. Welcome to RC Industry. Well, hey guys, we're back at it again today and the lawnmowers are running in the neighborhood so it'll probably be loud. But I went ahead and tore some of this down and let's look and see what we got. Show you more. So, we got this thing tore apart here and uh, I'm gonna show you the lifters here in a minute. Uh, because there was more than just one bad lifter. I mean, this thing is, this cam must just be eat up really bad. So, uh, and this chain, you know, she's uh, she's got quite a bit of slop in it. So, we're gonna take this off. We're gonna take this off. I bought a new chain and gear just in case when we got in here. And it's, I'd, I'd say, you know, uh, you know, we need to change this out. It's still got the nylon gear on it here, it looks like. And, Anyway, yeah, we're going to change this out too. So let me pop this off of here and let's get that slit out of there and pull that camshaft out and see what it looks like. Show you more. Okay, I got these new used uh, lifters of soaking here. Uh, let's move that out of the way a little bit so you can see what's going on now. Uh, let's just pick one of these cam lobes here. So we've got that set. This thing ain't very fancy so we ain't got no kind of dial indicator on it or nothing but you know you can see that this is just barely dragging that one's actually a little shorter than this one but you know this this could be an intake and I think this is exhaust now look at the exhaust for this one I mean I don't know if you can see that but I mean the lobe is gone man <laughs> Yeah, she's gone. All the rest of these. Oh, well, that one's a little low too. Compared to the others, you know what I'm saying. See, that one's nice and tight there. Of course, uh, I realize the intake and the exhaust loads are not going to be exactly the same. So, um, so anyway, yeah, you can see that one's definitely shelled there. So. Let's put the other cam up here for comparison. Show you more. Okay, so you all know the story. Um, Russell and all the outfits down there sent me a used cam shaft. They know I like things just like brand new. And that's exactly what this is. So she's all looking the same. Now I, did, I do think this is a little different uh, lift on the cam um, than uh, the stock one. I think that's what he told me. But you can see our number two. Hey, look at that, man. That thing's a sticking up there, ain't it? So, uh, yeah, I'd say, actually, I'd say the lift is about the same. The dura or the duration or whatever may be a little different. Um, but we can always use a little more torque. So that's not gonna, that's not gonna hurt a thing. So this one looks really nice. So, I'm going to grease this thing all up with some uh, good old cam lube here, and we're going to stick that thing back in there. All right, show you more. Well, that dumb thing's going to roll off there. I better move that. That'll be a disaster waiting to happen. I need to get a bigger workshop. This is ridiculous. I hope you can see that, but there's no, uh, there's no copper or brass, I mean, showing through on that bearing so 
I mean, we're just going to have to go with it. I, I mean, we ain't tear, tearing it down no further than this. So, anyway, um, let me get that cam back in there, and uh, we'll see what we got. Show you more. Oh, now, I know what you're saying. Now, Rick, I don't care how cheap you want to go here, but you're putting in a used cam and used bearings and uh, used lifters. And the lifters ain't marked which ones they come off of, so that's an automatic fail on the cam. And well, I don't know about that. Yeah, that thing's that thing turns real nice. So I'm very fortunate about that. Okay. All right. Let's get uh, let's get that lined up on the on the pins and get the new chain on there and the new gear and and uh, we'll see what's next show you more well I've been thumbing through this thing here and uh, I can't really find what I'm looking for I I know how to align the the dots up here and all that you know the cam is on top dead center number one blah blah and uh, I know how to do that but I'm looking for torque value for these bolts here and I was thinking there was one but the only thing this book shows is for the diesel, and uh, that ain't what we got here. So, I guess we're just going to crank them down. I don't want to bust them off, but, you know, hey, if you're not going to tell me what they are, we're just going to make up our own minds. as tight as they were when they came off there. Let's rotate that thing around one time and make sure that we still line up when we, when we you know, do our thing there. Now, let's see. How will I do that? Very easily. Very, not very easily, probably. Let's see here. Well, the camera keeps it shutting off on me. I don't know what's going on for sure, but we've rolled this thing around. We're back up there. Yeah, there is our our dot. And that thing is pointing straight up. Them dots at. that one straight down to make sure it's lined up with this one. I don't see how it couldn't be. But, you know. That old light is in my eyes and not where I want to look. Yeah, it's right there. And there's a lot less slop in that chain than there was that up. So I think we're good to go there. Okay, well at this point I got to clean up a lot of stuff including me. So uh, with that old greasy engine I mean, and that's after I sprayed it down with the oven cleaner and everything else and it's still well she's just nasty. So, Alright. Um, let me get this all cleaned up and uh, I'm going to get the oil drained out of it, and uh, yeah, because I want to pour some stuff in top of there and the oil down over that camshaft before we put the intake manifold back on. But before we do all that, we got to put the lifters in, and we got to, yeah, so anyway, you know, right, you've done it before, so, uh, yeah, okay, let me, uh, let me clean this up a little bit, show you more. Well... We're getting these lifters put in here. Just like brand used, for sure. Now, I did put assembly lube all over the cam, just for those of you who are wanting to know. These have been soaking in some motor oil.
Sorry I didn't get a whole lot of this filmed. It's a bit busy. And it's a little bit hot. And flies are blowing me. And Eric stopped by, so he grabbed the camera. Oh, and I never thought I'd probably have to blank out this part of talking because the radio's on. Ugh. Well, they're in there. I'm just gonna go get more of that down in there. All right. Well, the next thing I gotta do is get these china walls cleaned off. Get, get, get this surface cleaned up. See if we can set that in there. All right. Well, show you more. Well, this is probably not the correct way to get that started on there, but that's the way I'm doing it. Let's see how far back in there. You don't think that's OSHA regulated? <laughs> well, I don't know. It might be. I know I sure don't want to twist that bolt off of there. I need one a little bit longer. Let me see what I got in my puller. Show you more. Yeah, I've got to tap this up on there just a little bit further. Now, I ain't hitting it hard. And I know I can damage the crank. Rodeo guys. Let's see if that's long enough to get this stuff down in there and get it started. Oh yeah, I just got me a thinner washer and she's slipping right up on there now. And you guys can comment down below what I just destroyed by doing that. That'd be fine. <laughs> you know. There's a lot of experts out there. Well, I mean, you know, it is a used cam, and it could last another 100,000 miles, and it could last about five minutes. I don't know. Uh, old harmonic balancers. Got the rubber begin to come out of it, so that ain't never that ain't never good. All right, I think I'll put the other washer on there now. Let me know how you put one of these on, cause hey, I mean I'm just winging it here. You know? <laughs> All right, show you more. Well, the way you're talking, we could. Set that intake man go on there tonight, I guess. If you're here and willing to get dirty. Cause, you know. Of course, it ain't never gonna run anyway. That's what everybody says, cause I'm putting all these used parts in there, so. But, you know, it might. I remember that old red truck when you were little, the one you drove in the hayfield. I threw a rod on that when we was coming back from leave all yeah. over Christmas. Yeah. And uh, and uh, I didn't have the money to really fix it right, so I, I had an old 350. And I took a rod and out of, uh, you know, took a piston out and the, the rod and we uh, pulled the pan off of that thing and the head off of it and drove that down through, or drove it up out of there and put that other piston and rings and everything in there and I 
drove that thing till we got that. That's when I, I, I mean I drove it for quite a while, and uh, that's when we bought that Mercury Marquee. Yeah. The 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 blue one. Okay, what do we got going on here? Yeah, we put that on there that day. That's the same one that uh, Papa Bill had to pull you out of the. Uh, bottom of the yard. Yeah, that the, the with truck. the yawnmower. Yeah, that's right. That yawnmower tractor he had. Yeah, that it was a nice big heavy three quarter ton truck, but it didn't have any weight in the back, or you know, no weight in it. Uh, I'll loosen that up a little bit. surprised how clean this motor is I mean it's it's dirty but it's not uh, it's not as bad as I've seen I'll just say that oh. okay. all right those are sitting on there now so we'll get this other side and then let's see if we can set that intake on there all right show you more Yeah, this is the true budget channel. I mean, you know, all these channels out there, and I watch a bunch of them, guys, and gals. Uh, I mean, you know, true budget, but yet, you know, we're buying roller cams, and, you know, this is the true budget. I just need this thing to run so I can take it on power to her. And, you know, wimping around here in town a little bit, doing some odd jobs and whatever. That one's the same way. I'm going to have to loosen him up a little. All these channels that claim to be the, you know, the budget channels, why, that's cool and all. You really think that's what you are, but I think that thing's got a whole story. Russell being a race car driver, he may have given us a big high-rise cam or something, you know. Get one of them thumps going. <laughs> I don't How's know. that go again? <laughs> I'm just trying to clean this up a little bit. I mean, I don't mind it looking like it just came in off the farm, but I know to get some of this dirt off of it. It's like a pretty rough farm. Yeah, well, well, you know, it is uh, several decades old. Yeah. So, oh, my finger things just keep falling off there. Oops. I'm gonna have to cut up some more old t-shirts. I told you this is a budget channel. We don't buy rags. Yeah. I do use paper towel though. So now you're going to need some help, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to have, we'll get you some coveralls and some gloves. Okay, well, so on these gasket sets, it says that this um, restrictor plate right here is to go in here, but my 
old gasket didn't have the restrictor plate. So I ain't gonna put it in there. I mean, I don't know if you're supposed to or not. By the time you all are watching this, it's already too late. So <laughs> we're just gonna, we're gonna roll without it because I the old ones didn't have it. So anyway, I don't know, show you more. Yeah, I know everybody's gonna want to say, well, you should just put a big layer of stuff up on that china wall and don't put that gasket in there and it's gonna fall out. And, well, it might. And I know that you can do it the way you're saying. And I have done it that way before. But uh, I think we'll do it this way. Because this one has the little things in it to keep it from popping out of there. Little tits or whatever you want to call them. You might not want to call them that. I don't know. This is some good old gray Permatex or whatever it is. Form a gasket or something. It's made for intake manifold gaskets. And it also says you can do what you're wanting me to do, which is build a big old thing of it up across there. So you can do that too. I think we'll do it this way. If this don't work, why then we'll try something else. Okay, well let's see if we can set that on there. So yeah, just come around this way. Can you reach all the way back in there? Oh, I got it. Go ahead, Mike. I've got it. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I know. It's, uh, it's kind of tough with the hood on. Are you going to be able to do the front? Um, here, move this, stool, move this stool over here. That's what I yeah, was I can do. It. do. I can do it without the stool, yeah. Put it over there. That way you can reach back up over. I don't know. You might have to put it like next to the wheel or something. your head on the hood. Yeah. How's that? Oh. Not good? You ready to try it? Yep. Let's go back. Yep. Set her down. That's right. Okay. Let's see if we can get some of them. Can you get out of there? Oh, I hurt my rib. Or whatever is over here. Yeah, ribs? Yeah, probably. Yes. Okay. Did we take that black rag out of there? I think you did. Yeah, you did. You did, but I don't know where you put it. <laughs> well, I don't. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Yeah. I know you did. I watched you do it, and yeah, okay. Because you wiped the. Because I was like, man, if we didn't, too. if we left that in there, that could that could suck. <laughs> Let's put some anesthes on these. Why don't you look up in the book and see if you can figure out what the torque value is for these things? So you say it's 25, right? 25. So, well, what we want to do, I mean, we can look it up, but the, the torque pattern, basically you want to work from the inside out. So let's just start right here. And, uh, you know how to use that? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, you just got to get worked in there somehow. Bring it up. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, you know, we need a one of them fancy torque wrenches, but I ain't got one of them. I've done a lot of work through the years with that one. Beautiful. Is it worse for you in your eyes or? No. Well, the first thing we're going to do is put some black tape around this U joint so it's not so flexy. I'm just glad we're able to show people how to properly install an intake manifold and torque the head, <laughs> torque it. I don't know why they nose don't come with the tape already on them. Well, something. <laughs> I think that's gonna about do it for today. I'm exhausted and it's hot out here. And there goes the air compressor. That's stupid air compressor. That thing kicks on every time I'm recording. Well, as I was saying before we got rudely interrupted by the air compressor, uh, it's hot. I think we're gonna call it a day. We're not quite done, but we're about ready to, you know, put the valve covers on it. And, um, well, now we got to run through and tie, uh, do the lifters. You know, we got to tighten down the rocker arms and all that stuff. I'm, you know, uh, it's different than a Ford, so I'll have to look at the book. So, anyway, show you more. Run to Lilla Run. Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs>